what's up guys i got another alliance war video for you uh in this alliance war video we'll be going up against this asian alliance uh don't know how to pronounce their name nor do i know how to read it but yeah oh uh, this first node is unblockable l1 and it's also aggression fury i was expecting it to be an og spider-man and it does turn out being an og spider-man uh, i'm pretty sure this guy is rank three but with OG Spider-Man, uh, I never hit him more than three times, and I never end on a medium. Uh, with this Aggression Fury node, you gotta be you gotta be on top of them though. You gotta always uh, always be hitting into them because if they do get a bunch of Furies up, the block damage could be pretty nuts. But uh, yeah, I do I do get him down relatively easy. Uh, this next node is Bane. And there's a Bane and Stun Immunity and Enhanced Abilities, and there's a Mutant on it. Uh, and I was suspecting it to be a Nightcrawler, and it does turn out to be a Nightcrawler. Uh, Nightcrawler is so easy to switch for me. Uh, after I got that trick down, it's like Nightcrawler is a bad defender now, but I do I do switch him right out of the bat. Like oh, I was a piece of cake switching him. Uh, Bane is on him. I didn't build poise charges. I should have built a couple more poise charges, but I didn't. I don't know. Either way, I got him down in 12 hits. I didn't get touched by Bane. Really, really easy fight. Uh, this next node is going to be uh, node 24, Buffet, and it is going to be a Kingpin. It was a six-star skill, and I was suspecting it to be a Kingpin, and it is going to be a Kingpin. So I'm going to try and uh, get max, max poise charges. In the beginning of this fight, so uh, I can uh, I can be hitting my hardest throughout the whole fight, and yeah, I'm just building poise charges. I do get to ten. Uh, I'm trying to bait out this guy's heavy with Kingpin. You can't stun him. I got a really really nice intercept in there uh, with Kingpin. You can stun him, but he can shrug it off and he can retaliate you almost instantly. So I'm not uh, I'm not retaliating him after I stun him. I'm trying to bait out another heavy now, and he's blockading me so much. I'm losing so much health to block damage right now. It really pissed me off. But uh, I am at 8 poise charges. Uh, I do bait out his L1, and I do build a poise charge off of the last swing of his L1. I do drop my, um, my L2 while I'm at 8 poise charges just to keep the fight going. Uh, I should have built up more and then dropped it, but it's okay. 29 hits, and that 6-star uh, Kingpin went down pretty quick. Uh, this next node is going to be start with one bar of power and power gain. And I suspected it was going to be a Hyperion. Uh, I wanted to throw on an invulnerability boost just in case he goes red. Uh, and man, fighting this Hyperion with my Stark brings me back to the... Uh, the old map six mini boss. I used to wreck the old map six mini boss, mini boss with my Stark, and yet yeah, it's like deja vu almost. Uh, in the beginning of this fight, I do want to build up a couple poise charges. He is going a little red, so I do drop my uh, I do drop my heavy. Uh, this guy's actually running suicides. Uh, in ASR, dropping your defenders with suicides on does not fly. That is no no bueno. So, sorry if I got you in trouble, man, but don't place your defenders with suicides, especially in Tier 1 Alliance War. Come on, man. man. What are you thinking? <laughs> but yeah, that hype went down really quick. He didn't even get to a uh, third bar. Uh, pr pretty much it was a waste of invulnerability boost, but it doesn't matter. Play ex extremely safe, extremely cautious. Oh, this next node is going to be Power Shield, and I was expecting a blade. The guy's profile did have blade. And he didn't bring his blade to his attack team. And it does turn out being a blade. Uh, this is power shield. It's also a uh, power gain. Um, and I, I rarely mention this in my videos. But with this node, your special attacks do... I think it's double damage. Um, and yeah, your regular attacks don't do any damage. So I do get to 10 poise charges. I get a really, really nice intercept in, huh, in on him. Um, I am getting close to my second bar. I want to, uh, I want to beat out one more L1. And then, since this is a power gain node, I want to, uh, I want to power drain him before I throw my special. Which I do, and man, I drop my special. The first hit crit, the second one didn't crit, but then the last two do, and oh my god, 32, 33, that was like, 
that was like a uh, I don't know, I, I didn't do the math. But that was like an eighty plus k uh, SP two, and he dropped so quick. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but uh, I might have bought OGV, or I might have used all my well earned arena grinding units to get him. Either way, this is aggression, uh, not aggression, this is brute force, and this is poison, and I knew it was going to be quake, so I brought my OGV in, uh, this is the first time I've ever used him in Alliance War, uh, I was a little bit scared, um, thank god this isn't a stun immune node, because quake on stun immune node can be a bit of a pain, um, so yeah, this is brute force, if you aren't attacking into the defender, uh, every six seconds, then you get a degen on you, and OGV is great for that because you're pretty much you're you're power draining them, and you can you always have an in. You always you don't have to bait out specials. You always have that backup power drain. So I do have her against the wall. I am solely dropping my L2s. Uh, in the beginning, I was a little bit scared, maybe timing out on this on this uh, defender, but uh, OGV is doing a ton of damage. I was uh, I was really impressed with uh, his performance on this one, and I can't wait to dupe him. I can't wait to either use my generic on him or use something on him, but he is definitely getting duped, and he is a possible 565 champion for me. Um, so I was out of energy. I, I not not now, but now I'm out of energy, and I was like, crap, <laughs> I'm all boosted up. How am I supposed to take this mini boss? But uh, shout out to my alliance mate, Killer Crocs, who hooked me up with one energy. And yeah, he moved to Punisher, and then he backed out like a gentleman, the, g the gentleman and scholar he is. So yeah, big shout out to you, dude. Thank you for uh, giving me one of your energies. And yeah, this is Punisher 2099, and this is the same guy running suicides. So in the beginning of this fight, I want to build up to 10 poise charges. And the bleed on this guy is... Ugh, Guys, don't put suicides on your defenders. He's taking so much damage to this bleed and poison. It's like the start of the fight, he's on 80% health. I haven't even touched him, and he's on 80% health. So I saw an in. I went in for an in. Uh, I got a couple combos in. I dropped my L1, and the, it's it's over. It's, it's over. I let off my heavy for a sweet finish. It does 20k damage in Assassin's range and with 10 poise charges. I was uh, I was pretty excited about that. So he has 17 hits, and that rank four Punisher dropped so fast. But uh, yeah, man, uh, we did win this war. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, congratulations to all the MVPs. Uh, I will never make my way up there, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this Alliance War video. Till the next one. Peace.